The foundation exists to support our students and our classrooms. We have teacher grants, we have teacher stores and wish list, we fund student activities and programs, and these are really life-changing experiences. And what we try to do is really enhance that experience, round out that experience, so they can find what their passion is and find where they want to go with life and experience all the wonderful things happening in and around this area. Very excited to have Jarrett Krasoska join us this morning. Uh, Jarrett is a graphic novelist. He has written the Jedi series, the Lunch Lady series, but today he's going to be speaking on his book, Hey Kiddo. Hey Kiddo is a graphic novel memoir um, about Jared's actual um, life experience with a mother who had um, an addiction. I grew up in Massachusetts and I was the son of a woman who was addicted to heroin. So my mom was either in halfway home or, or she was incarcerated throughout my childhood. And, and I didn't know who my father was, but I did have my grandparents. My grandparents, my maternal grandparents raised me as their own and uh, you know, they instilled in me the importance of hard work. They connected me with an art education, and I was able to share a lot of those experiences with the students, so, and, and not only sharing the story with my words, but also with my pictures. So sharing artwork I made when I was a young person, when I was in elementary school, and middle school, and high school. You know, I wrote this book in third grade for this class project, and I just fell in love with bringing words and pictures together. And, you know, how words can tell one aspect of the story, and then you can use your illustrations to tell another aspect of the story. Everything we do, we want to have a component for the folks at our breakfast, but more importantly, we want to have something for our students. We know a lot of students who have these issues in their families, even extended families, and so we wanted to make sure that we invite authors and illustrators to our school that matter to kids, that have the same experiences as kids, and, and want to help them through reading, through literature. From the time that I started thinking about writing Hey Kiddo to the time it published, 18 years had passed. Uh, when my mother died of a heroin overdose, I was confronted with the uglier realities of her addiction, which, which elicited more sympathy and empathy for what she dealt with. And all of that sympathy and empathy I was able to apply to the, the mother character in Hey Kiddo, which hopefully uh, readers can also take away and, and give people empathy in real life who are dealing with addictions. That it's not, it's not a moral failing, it's a physiological issue. I would meet so many young people who dealt with the same thing, right? Like dealt with maybe a parent who was incarcerated, maybe a parent who was dealing with addictions, maybe a parent who was in recovery, maybe a parent who uh, had died of an overdose. And it made me realize how how not alone I was in that, right? And I thought, you know, I really need to write my, my story down. Students connect to Jared. They know what his life was like, and they feel like their lives are like that too. And they, they know they have a way to get out of that life and be creative at the same time. We have lots of creative students who are great artists and writers themselves. And so this is an encouragement for them. Hey Kiddo, I want it to be very vulnerable and very honest. And that includes the fact that my grandparents smoked two packs a day each. Uh, that includes all of the curse words that were uttered around me growing up. And I didn't want to shy away from any of those realities. I didn't want to sugarcoat those realities because readers are dealing with those real issues today. They're not living in a sugarcoated world. That's why it's so important that we as a community, the foundation, all of our donors, the businesses in this community, and especially our teachers can wrap our arms around the students of South Bend Community Schools, provide them the support they need, provide them the resources they need, and help them to find their passion, just like Jared did. If I could go back in time, I would not tell myself anything, because that young version of me couldn't know that things were gonna be okay. Because that young, that young version of me needed to work hard to make sure things were going to be okay. Success could not have been a given. Success needed to be worked for and earned and fought for.